What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw for TV. I want to do a quick video, a shout out to Dirk Nowitzki, who uh, played in his final home game um, last night against the Phoenix Suns. It was a 120 to 109 victory. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki scored 30 points. I believe he shot 11 of 31 from the floor, but nobody cares. He was force fed the ball. It was a Dirk show. Everyone wanted to see him shoot the basketball. Um, Dirk actually admitted that he just recently came to a decision to call it a career just several days ago. And that although this has been his unofficial retirement tour, Dirk had never actually officially announced that this would be his last season. Unlike a Dwayne Wade, who made it known this would be his last season before the season started. Um, and had people that try to change his mind about it. Um, including Pat Riley, I believe. But, Dirk finally came to the conclusion that he just couldn't go through another season. He's having issues with the foot that he had the bone spurs removed from. Um, it's arthritic, and it just gives him problems. And he, although he said that he was intrigued about coming back for another year and mentoring guys like Luka Doncic and the uh, asshole, if he did do that, Chris Stapps Porzingis, he was intrigued by coming back for another season, but he didn't think he could go through the rigors of an 82-game schedule and then possible playoff uh, pitcher after that. Uh, but Dirk did muster up enough to play 33 minutes last night. Uh, he scored 30 points. Uh, he became the oldest man ever to score 30 points in an NBA game, surpassing Michael Jordan, who was 40 years old when he scored 30 points in the NBA game back in 2003. Uh, Dirk is 41 years old, um, but you can clearly see that Dirk is at the end of his career. I mean, he just has very little left. Um, there were tributes to him last night um, out there to pay tributes to Dirk were favorite players from his youth. Uh, guys like Larry Bird, Detlef Shrimp, uh, Charles Barkley, I think Sean Kemp. Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting some of the other people mentioned. Uh, but it was various others, various others. And uh, even Larry Bird uh, tried to talk Dirk into coming back for one more year. But Dirk, to me, is one of the greatest international players of all time. I think he's the greatest Euro basketball player of all time. And he's definitely the greatest Dallas Maverick player of all time. He's sixth all time in scoring, uh, trailing only Crimdal Jabbar, Karl Malone, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan. Uh, he recently passed Will Chamberlain in scoring. Um, and he rectified his past ghost when he won the 2011 NBA championship, a year where his team was actually not favored. And he did so without the benefit of another superstar. Uh, of course, remember in 2006, uh, the Dallas Mavericks made the NBA Finals, but they blew an 0-2 lead to the Miami Heat, which were led by the guy that's on his farewell tour, uh, Dwayne Wade. Uh, Wade averaged 39 points per game in the last four games of that series, 35 points per game overall. And um, the very next year, the Dallas Mavericks were led by Dirk, who won an MVP award in 2006-2007. The Mavericks won a, a record for the franchise, 67 games. But ultimately, they were beaten in the first round. I think it was four games to two that familiar spread by uh, the upstart Golden State Warriors team that featured uh, Jason Richardson, Baron Davis, and Steven Jackson. Um, and in 2011, of course, they beat the uh, Miami Heat. I think it was, again, that familiar spread, four games to two. And uh, Dirk was final, finals MVP and just had a brilliant performance. I remember one game, he scored like 40-some points and shot like, what was it, 21 or 26 or something like that? I remember having a crazy offensive game in that finals. Um, but Dirk is a one-of-a-kind guy, man, and uh, he's one of the greatest players of his generation. Uh, he won't get the credit or adulation that uh, he probably deserves, um, especially considering how he was kind of overshadowed to an extent 
uh, for a duration of his career by guys like Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, then LeBron James, Allen Iverson. Uh, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like he, he, he was sort of overshadowed. A lot of it had to do with his personality, his game, but he was revolutionary too. I mean, you, before Dirk, yeah, you had guys like a Dirk Coleman, uh, you might have had Terry Mills, guys who every now and then would, you know, 6'10", 6'9", guys every now and then that would uh, show their range and shoot from outside. Rodney Rogers, for instance. But you never had a guy that was seven foot and was skilled like that that could shoot that well from downtown consistently. I mean, he was unbelievable. And uh, therefore, I take my hand off Dirk Nowitzki. This is his, actually his last game. His last game will be against the San Antonio Spurs. I think it's tomorrow night. So after tomorrow night, the career of Dirk Nowitzki will officially come to a close. Thank you, Dirk, for the memories.